a Boeing 737. Continental Flight 1404 has gone off the runway. It was headed from Denver to Houston about 6 o'clock tonight. Um, it went off the runway, we're told by the FAA, under unknown circumstances. 107 passengers on board, five crew members. The plane itself is intact. There was also a fire. You can only assume that operations here at DIA are severely uh, curtailed, uh, if not entirely down for the moment until this uh, incident is uh, attended to. Interesting because I have family members heading out on a frontier flight right about now, and I'm curious and trying to reach them as to what's happening with them. Last I spoke with them, they weren't even aware of this situation. Again, let's fill people in who don't know or are just tuning in. The FAA confirms that a Boeing 737 Continental Flight 1404, that's 1404, has gone off a runway. The FAA confirms that there is smoke coming from the plane. That's at least what we heard earlier. Rick Salinger is out there and looking at the scene does not see smoke right now. We're told there are 107 passengers and five crew members on board. That plane was getting ready for takeoff from Denver bound for Houston. Rick Salinger, let's check in with you once again. Anything new or different out there? No, Kathy. Uh, the emergency vehicles that have passed through the gate have headed north up the field. There is an ambulance right near me at the fire station, apparently in standby mode at the present time. Uh, the number of vehicles has slowed presently after, oh, I would say maybe a, at least 30 or so headed out to the field with the lights flashing and the sirens going. Again, we don't see signs of any uh, smoke, at least from the area near the terminal where I am. I am just off the northwest side of the DIA main terminal at the fire station. Other vehicles are in the emergency staging area here, apparently waiting for as to where they should go next. All right, Rick. And again, Continental Airlines, a spokeswoman I just chatted with a short time ago, tells me that they are unaware of any specific injuries at this point. But she did confirm all the information that we've given out. Let me give it to you all one more time. Call 7 investigator Tony Kovaleski is out at the airport with the very latest details for us. Tony, fill us in on what you were able to learn. Teresa, about 10 minutes ago, I spoke with the manager of aviation from DIA, Kim Day, and here's what she said to me. She said, as you've reported, 105 people on board, no fatalities, there was a fire. I also, in the last five minutes, spoke to somebody who's on the runway, part of the triage unit that's taking place out there. They are triaging the 105 passengers on board to see the extent of their injuries. I know there's a large number of ambulances on their way or already at the airport. But from the individual that I spoke to that's in the triage area, he said he spoke with one of the passengers, and she told him that the plane, for some unknown reason, went off the runway, also described the fact that the right wing dipped. That's all he had to explain what may have happened, what led to this. But again, the key thing, no fatalities at this point, a massive triage operation underway at the airport. I continue to get calls, and we'll have updates for you, and obviously more information later. But that's what we know at this point. Many ambulances on their way out there to the airport. The triage continues just off the runway. All right, Tony Kovaleski reporting for us live out at DIA. Tony, thank you so much. Again, we want to let you know, fortunately, no fatalities with this plane accident out at DIA. A fire has been put out, and victims are being treated and transported. This is Continental Flight 1404, Denver to Houston. It was outgoing at the time of the accident and fire. We will continue to bring you details from the 7 Newsroom as we get them.